Our last section here is going to be talking about using events online and in store to boost holiday sales and just kind of break up the monotony of all of these uh, you know, promotions that are happening during the holiday season because the Q4 is obviously so heavy in you know, sale, 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 and buy, buy, buy. Um, so one of the first things to ask yourself are what are your opportunities that you do have and we want to take advantage of this holiday season? So there are things like you know, uh, Black Friday and Small Business Saturday, Christmas, even Christmas. There's obviously an organic uh, enthusiasm about them. You don't have to do any you know, individual branding here for Small Business Saturday because that's something that's already, get, it's already well known. So you want to piggyback off of that momentum and you know, coordinate your email and social efforts to make the most and, and continue to drive traffic to your stores on that date. There's also you know, just in-store events that you can be doing, like an open house, um, a ladies' night. I know that's huge with jewelers. They come in and they make their wish list, and then they take it home and say, husband, here I've done all the work for you with a, a ladies' night. And you know, what better way to provide awesome customer service in-store than with one of these events um, and have that face-to-face you know, -face communication. If you are an online only store too though, you can still deliver that awesome customer service. You know, try using free shipping as an event. Maybe it's you know, during a certain amount of time, they can you know, use that free shipping, uh, be a part of that free shipping event. Um, or you even offer, maybe it's you, you buy something for, you spend over $50 and you get a free gift. Um, that's considered an event too. It's anything that's going to push someone to uh, make that purchase in store that maybe they wouldn't because it's, it's a little bit different. It's, um, again, just breaking that monotony. So we've got um, a couple of just uh, examples and, and ways to kind of use these events and, and boost your sales. Absolutely. So, you know, just because it's sort of a one-day event doesn't mean that there isn't build up to that, you know, which is again getting your business in front of your customers and, and maybe new customers. So, you know, when you are, let's say, holding an open house, you know, how do you get the word out there via social media and email marketing? What are those sort of points or tiers that you should be hitting? Um, the first is a teaser. So, you know, even a couple weeks in advance, you know, be posting to social media, you know, maybe a little sort of like a cryptic photo or something, you know, here we're setting up for this night or we're getting ready. Um, you know, send emails teasing the event. Uh, you know, get people excited about, you know, like Zoe said, breaking up the monotony, you know, something exciting for the holidays and this time of year. And something specific that, you know, as a small business, you can do and you can provide that these big box stores and, you know, stuff like that are not able to match. You know, just an unparalleled um, level of, of service and just unique opportunities. Uh, number two, the invite. You know, so the invite is super important, and you don't want to do the invite through only one avenue. You know, so do an email invite. You know, be posting on uh, social media. Maybe have a Facebook event for it so people can RSVP. You know, get the word out. Um, definitely, you know, obviously have the the dates and times. You know, all that pertinent information. Have all the benefits. You know, everything that's going to be going on, uh, and really attract people. Uh, number three, the reminder. So this is going to be sort of your messaging, maybe just a day or two before the actual event. This is sort of that last chance. Uh, you know, don't forget it's happening. And really, if it is sort of one of your big events of the year, I would do a reminder like maybe two days before and then even the morning of, you know, or something like that. I don't think that's overkill if this is sort of your, you know, the marquee event. Um, you know, and again, you know, just sort of rehashing the details of the event and, and reminding people, you know, use those sort of time-sensitive phrases to, to really get people excited. And then lastly, the recap. So, you know, in the midst of all of these great holiday, you know, things that happen, don't forget to snap some photos, uh, you know, talk to customers and have some, you know, some content ready to go afterwards. Because again, then you are, you know, recapping to your whole email list what a great event it was, you know, again, all these cool services and unique things that you can offer as a small business. So um, make sure that you are showcasing uh, all, your, all of those great aspects. So how to make these experiences you know, more engaging and, and again sort of you know, very unique. Just a couple suggestions here. You know, having something like a cocoa bar and cookies or you know, refreshments, maybe for that ladies' night it's, it's a wine night or something like that. Um, but definitely have something you know, to, to and, you know, added amenity, something to set, set it apart. Um, free gift wrapping is huge. Uh, that is actually a trigger for people to buy more, definitely, mm -hmm. because it's like so easy, so convenient. You know, it's going to be wrapped and ready to go for the family. Um, so that can be huge, and that's something that you can do in brick and mortar or online. Uh, and then the last little tip here is signage. 
So a way to you know, maybe make certain products you know, more exciting or sort of jump off the shelf, um, we have a, you know, these Pinterest cards or Pinterest tags that you can download for free. And I think Zoe's going to go ahead and drop that download into the chat. And so for example, you could say, oh, here's our most pinned products. You know, maybe you choose like 10, 10 products that are heavily pinned. Add that little tag on the shelf, and then that's going to draw people over. You know, they're going to wonder what it is. Um, you know, people love Pinterest and they're very familiar. So you know, the fact that it, uh, it is doing so well on Pinterest is sort of like credibility in the brick and mortar location as well. So um, you know, just again, you know, any sort of ways that you can set yourself apart and create this unique experience for your customers. Yeah, and it's an easy way to do a little bit more with your visual merchandising Absolutely. if you are a brick and mortar. You know, have a an entire table where it's like these are our top ten picks on Pinterest or and you know, print out the free Pinterest cards that I just posted into the chat. Um so some just brief examples of how, you know, to execute these events and you know, follow up with email and with social is, you know, here, a, a holiday open house. You know, you can see obviously adorable uh, cookies and cocoa bar, and then we've got some social posts in the middle. You know, I love uh, this one on the top. You know, Santa and his team have been hard at work at our store, um, inviting you to the holiday open house. You know, a teaser post or um, or the actual invite, and then also using email uh, templates to complement that. And along the same lines, uh, Small Business Saturday. You know, here are some Snap retail templates that we have. Um, all of those gray boxes are where you put your own images, you know, so you you convey your brand, but you're still piggybacking on this holiday that is known by all as Small Business Saturday. Same for you know Black Friday or or Cyber Monday. Um, and then of course we had to share a photo of a dog because we love dogs here. <laughs> um, this is like one of those photos that you can really recap with that you know keeps that event. It's it's not just oh the event's over we're done. No, you know keep making that event live on through your social media and email marketing, you know, make people feel a little bad that they missed mm -hmm, out absolutely. so that they want to be a part of the fun the next time it comes around. Yeah. Or, you know, they, they can get a, a part of the fun by just liking and commenting. It's going right. to help your engagement too. So right. you can really drive sales through these events because you're going to create that enthusiasm and that excitement that gets people paying more attention. And it's a great way to communicate with your customers without just saying, here's a product, here's a product, here's a product, here's a product. It's a, it's a more unique, more engaging way to do that. Definitely. All right, well, we're a couple minutes over here. But <laughs> not, if, too uh, <laughs> not too bad. Not too bad. And if, you, uh, if you've been on with Zoe and I before, you know we always like to finish with sort of a summary slide, you know, give you some real actionable tips to, to walk away with um, and try. So here we have our three categories, the social, email, and events. And we have sort of those main tips under each one. So for social, you know, really try a boosted post. You know, if you've never done that, you know, like Zoe said, you know, spend five dollars and just try it. You you will probably reach a thousand people, you know, of your followers um, or new people if you target that way, and, and really try that. Um, definitely use hashtags on Instagram, uh, or if you're not using Instagram at all, you know, give it a shot. Go ahead and create the business profile. Uh, it's really time to do that, uh, and make sure your pins have links. So again, you know, the, the, the best thing about Pinterest is that all of those pins click back to their source. So you know, if it's e-commerce, absolutely it should be a, a link right back to the buy page. If you're just brick and mortar, it should be a link to your store's you know, website or your info so people know how to contact you and, and where to find that product. Um, for email, you know, try segmentation, uh, whether it is based on purchase details, geographic location, um, brand interest, you know, whatever info you have. Um, definitely, definitely try some segmentation and see how that affects your open rates. Uh, design those emails with a call to action button. So, you know, always have, or at least a clear call to action, even if it is like a typed link, you know, make sure that the content is sort of leading to this obvious point and then it's a very large, clear, you know, ask, you know, what, what do you want them to do? What action do you want them to take? Um, and buttons really are best. And actually within Snap, we do have buttons available in our image library. So if, uh, you know, if you're looking for something, we, you know, can help you there. Uh, and then, you know, better subject lines. So, you know, again, trying to use those five, you know, tips that we gave you. Definitely download that 50 uh, holiday subject lines guide. Um, it's excellent. It gives you, you know, a little more detail and, you know, more examples. So, you know, even if you don't use one exactly, it, you know, might give you a thought and then you can kind of tailor it to your business and, and go from there. And then lastly, events. So, you know, plan an online or in-store event or, or both. Uh, you know, this is the best season really for events. So, you know, uh, again, set yourself apart, you know, shop local, you know, incorporate all of these great things about small businesses and, and hold an event for your customers.
Uh, get the word out online. So hit those points, you know, the teasers, the, the invitations, the reminders, the follow-up. Um, make sure you, you document all of these events well and, and be posting online during and after. Uh, and then lastly, enhance the experience. So, you know, don't just have a sale. Maybe have a sale with hot chocolate or, you know, again, a ladies' night with wine or, you know, do something to set it apart and really make it fun and memorable for your customers because word of mouth, whether it's in person or online, is still, you, you know, the greatest strength that almost any business has. So make it something, you know, worth mentioning, you know, so, something that they're going to go to their friends and then say, gosh, I had this great time. Um, so definitely, definitely enhance the experience.